Welcome back to another video, Soil here and today I want to explain the differences between two of the most common price charts in financial markets, candlestick charts and line charts. We're going to explore the advantages and disadvantages of each one and we're going to see in what situations or for what trading style they can be helpful. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, let's begin with line charts. Line chart is one of the simplest price charts in financial markets. For each time period, we have one point, which is the closing price of that period. And each point is connected to the previous point. So the closing price of each period is connected to the previous close. And the result is what you see. For example, on this chart, the time frame is daily. And the closing price at the end of each day is connected to the closing price of the previous day. Simply one piece of information for each time period, the closing price. And they are connected to each other. But on candlestick charts, we have more information for each time period. In, in other words, we access to more details about what happened in each session. Actually, every single candle that you see on this chart represents four pieces of information. The opening price at the beginning of the time period, the closing price at the end of the period, and the highest and lowest price that has reached in that time period. Each of these candles are made by the help of these four pieces of information. The thick part of the candle is called the body or some calls it real body and it's actually the range between opening price and closing price in that session. When the closing price is higher than the opening price in the session, the body is usually represented by green color and when the closing price is lower than the opening price, it's usually uh, represented by red color. The thin parts of the candle above and below the body are called shadows or some calls it wicks. The one that is above the body is called upper shadow and the one that is below the body is called lower shadow. The top of the upper shadow shows the highest price that is reached in the session and the bottom of the lower shadow shows the lowest price of the session. So on candlestick charts for each time period we have one candle and this candle gives us information about opening price, closing price, highest price and lowest price in that session. Also the color of the candle helps us to quickly find out whether the session closed above the opening price or below the opening price price. All right, now let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of each one and in what situations they can be more helpful. When it comes to simplicity, not any price chart can beat the line chart. Candlestick charts represent more information for every time period and in compared to line charts, they may look overwhelming for beginners or traders who don't know how to interpret them. But on the other hand, the lack of data on line charts makes it weaker for trading and applying advanced technical analysis and candlestick charts will with more data about each time period and giving more precise information about what happened in each session can be more helpful for trading. For example, when you compare length or possession of the bodies of candlesticks, you can get information about momentum or analyzing the shadows of candlesticks can give you information about volatility. But with line charts, you can't because line charts only connect the closing price of each time period. Now you may ask what's the point of using line charts when candlesticks charts can be much more helpful. A line chart by connecting only the closing price of each time period filters out a lot of noises that are available on candlestick charts and makes it ideal for analyzing higher time frames for long-term trading or investing because in this case you don't need all the details and you just want to analyze the market flow to get the overall direction of the market and a line chart can provide you this clear picture without any noise. But candlestick charts are more helpful in shorter term trading and in certain situations when you want to make your trading decisions and uh, you're looking for a perfect entry exit points or setting stop loss and take profit orders. Candlestick charts provide you the necessary information to analyze the volatility and momentum so that you can find the optimal entry exit points and accurately estimate level of stop loss and take profit orders. Candlestick charts are by far the most popular price charts 
dollars in financial markets and by providing more information about each time period enables you to analyze momentum and volatility in each session or in wider period of time when they form a specific pattern so that you can get a sense of the bulls and bears status and possible next movements. If you're interested to learn how to read candlestick charts and analyze candlesticks and candlestick patterns, I have a complete course in six episodes and I recommend you to watch it so that you learn how to analyze candlestick charts. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.